Hey guys, welcome to CR Entity Designers. This is Chetan, and in this tutorial, we are going to create a bowl. This is like an experimental design tutorial. You can create a different objects with the same kind of modeling method. So, if you are new on this YouTube channel, then don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, and you can follow us on Instagram. You can watch our previous Blender tutorial, so you will get a lot of knowledge. And now, let's get started. To create a design, we will start with the cone. So, Shift A, and then you need to add a cone, and then go to the side view and then move it along the z-axis after that you need to go to the edit mode and then select the stop words and then control b and then v to add a bevel on the words and you can give the width something like a 1.5 it's fine after that you need to press i for the insert operation and now you need to select these words and then control b and then v to add a bevel on the words and give the right width for the there so we can merge these words together and we can create a core based topology at there so select everything press m and then merge by distance so we can merge the double words means close words you can see the 32 words are merged there and then select the top and bottom faces you need to press x and then delete the words so you will get this kind of thing after that you need to select these edges so how we can select this uh, turn on your x-ray mode and then select the bottom words and then you need to select the mid words so how we can select that you can use the cross selection or you can use the circle tool uh, circle selection so here i'm using the circle selection so i can improve my speed for the selection so you use the circle selection and then E to extrude it and move it along the Z axis. So move it down along the Z axis and then scale it along the Z axis and give the value 0 at there so you can make it straight. Then you can scale it along the X and Y axis and you can see this kind of form you can find in different kind of objects. We can create a hat, you can create a jelly, anything. But we are going to create a bowl, something like that. Then you need to select these inner edges. You can select the words or you can select these edges. And same thing here we need to do. So just select these edges and then E to extrude it and scale it along the X and Y axis. Then one more time E to extrude it and scale it along the X and Y axis and give the use the loop tool and create a circle. Then you need to add the subdivision surface modifier and shear smooth it and increase the sub D count. And now you can see we got a form and we got a design. You can see such kind of design in a jelly. And then shift D to duplicate it and make a backup collection. After that we will create little bit more details and we will try to refine this form. So we will get the decent design. Okay so select this words and then after that what will we do so now i will rotate it so just go to the object mode and rotate it into the 90 degree and take it down set the origin to the geometry and you can move it along the z-axis and take it on the surface then go to the edit mode and now i will select the stop words and then scale them along the z axis give the value 0 then select this edge loop and e to extrude it and move it along the z axis and create that outer form as you can see in the bowl and such kind of utensils like crockery and all these kind of things so create that design you need to just move the uh, edges edge loops here and there and you need to use your move tool and just try to give the right position to your edge loop so you can create this kind of design and after that we will create the bottom part so just move it along the z-axis and try to create that bottom part for this bowl And now you can see we got something like this that's look decent and now we need to create a chord based topology here at the bottom so just select these words right click and then connect vertex path and same thing you need to repeat here so create that chord based topology
and then you can take the symmetry but i won't suggest you to take the symmetry because if you take the symmetry you will face double ages problem so that's why you need to dissolve the, uh, dissolve those double ages later on if you take the symmetry so i will suggest you don't use the symmetry do it manually and then sh you can add the solidify modifier on the model so add that solidify modifier and give the proper thickness in the solidify modifier and make sure the solidify modifier should be top of your subdivision surface modifier and then you need to apply that solidify modifier and now i will add one more time the subdivision surface modifier because i have deleted that modifier so add that subd modifier one more time and make sure you get the right corbis topology everywhere so you will get a decent look on the model and now you can see it looks like this so select everything, press M and merge by distance, so double words will get merge. And now you can see we have created a decent form here. Just add a few more loop cuts so we can maintain the good form for the model. And then select this uh, face loops and press I for the insert operation just to create that edge of the bow. And now you can see that's look decent. You can see the topology and shade smooth it. So thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, then hit that like button and subscribe our YouTube channel. Bye bye. So in the next video, take care.